Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video showing you guys how to blend out your foundation. Yeah. So I'm having like a little series on my channel showing you guys how to blend your foundation, how to apply your foundation and all that good stuff. So stay tuned. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. And disregard this, I just finished doing my eyebrows so you know when you put the concealer and all that good stuff. So yeah. Let's get into this video. So if you want to get seamlessly, flawlessly, you know, you want your makeup to stay all day, every day, you want to first do is wear a good primer, like get yourself a good primer. Um, what I use on my face today is um, Professional by Benefit. That's really good. It's kind of on the pricey side, but it's really, really good. So that's what I'm using today. That I'm using is a Maybelline Fit Me and the brush that I'm using today is by e.l.f. is their small stippling brush and if you are a beginner this is really good the e.l.f. small stippling brush and this is for about dollar some places um, in Canada it's like three dollars so the first thing you guys are going to want to do is after you put on your primer you're going to put on your foundation and we're going to start like this so if you guys are looking for a good foundation, the Maybelline Fit Me, it's good for all skin types. Oily, dry, combination, all those good types. So yeah. So what you want to do is you want to focus around this part of your face. You don't want to go all up in there and all in the sides like that. Even though you do want to put some foundation on the sides of your face, but you really want to focus on the middle. Because the middle is where everybody sees, like, you know, the middle of your face draws attention. So you want to go ahead and do all of that. So the first step you want to do is you want to take some dabs onto your brush and you just want to put it all over your face in the middle. I don't know if you guys, um, for me, I don't like too much foundation on my face because I don't really need foundation like that. I could go without foundation and just do the powder, but I will show you guys how I do the foundation on my face. So if you guys were wondering what color I am in, my color is 355 and it's the coconut. So I'm going to start to just put this all over my face in the middle parts. And what I like to do is I like to put my foundation on in layers. So if you are a beginner, you might want to do that. You, I don't think you'd want to just go ahead with the foundation and just put it all over your face. And then when you have the um, tough time of blending in it, it's really going to be frustrating. So if you want to do it in layers. That's how I started out doing. So I'm just going to start putting that all over my face. What is that? Oh, that's just a more. So put that all over your face there. You know, just lightly put it around there. I don't know if you guys are going for a full coverage or if you're going for a lightweight. But this is a full coverage, so you won't need a lot of coats. So what I like to do is with this foundation, I like to just dab it into my face. Just like to keep on dabbing it in all over. The spots that I want really covered up and you just dab that all into your face. Dab, dab, get some in there and just dab it. And after I'm finished dabbing, I want to start stippling it onto my face. So you want to follow these. Um, ways of stippling so you want to go up when you're doing your foundation you want to go up you don't want to take it down really too much but you just want to stipple it into your face go up on the cheeks up and just stipple it all over your face bring it down all that. And for blending purposes, you know, you don't want it to be all around there, like, you know, not blending in. So you want to just take it, you just stipple that. In circular motions, I like to do mines and just get it all into your hairline and just stipple it. And as you guys can see, this is a very flawless finish. And it's almost a little bit for you guys there. Oh gosh, what a are you trying to do today? Mm -hmm. 
And there you have it. Your first layer is on. So I'm going to continue. I'm going to bring it down into your neck, you know, just so everything blends in. You don't want to be looking two different shades, you know. This is good for me because I don't like a lot of foundation. But for other people, they want that full coverage, beat down, look, you know, highlighter, contour, everything. But this would be just good for me. I could keep it like this. But then if you want to take it up to the next level, if you want to go up a next notch, what you want to do is you want to take your foundation and then you want to start to do the same motions, the same steps that we did the first time and you just want to dab that all into your face. And this will call you, this is what you call a second coat. Just start putting a second coat all over your face. And this isn't much. And then you just want to do the same thing there. Just continue doing that. So there you got it. You got a full face of foundation. And if you want to, you can just continue to stipple it on. Stipple, 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 stipple. Baby. And that is basically how you put on foundation. You know, those were easy steps. You could just go like this. I know a lot of people, they like to just wear foundation on their face. I don't know if people could just do like foundation, like face powder, yeah, I could do that. But foundation, no, I just can't do it like that. But that is where you go. And if you want to get a full face, and what you guys can do is you just finish it off with any powder that you have, any face powder that you have to just give that that smooth finishing look. What I like to use is I like to use some MAC finishing powder and it just finishes off my look but if you guys don't want to go and skip all those steps you can highlight contour if you guys would like I do have a video on how I highlight and contour my makeup so I'm gonna make sure all that you gotta make sure that blend in boo boo because you don't want to go out looking all patchy and stuff like that no this 2017 we ain't come to be patchy we come to be beat you know, we come to learn. Everybody's still learning. Everybody is a learner in this. That was the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe. And also share this video if you know somebody who needs they need it. Just share it for them. Okay? And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.